Welcome back guys. In this lecture, we're going to be using the for each loop on arrays and list. Again, this is section four, lecture seven. So let's jump right into it. So the for each loop, what is a for each loop? Well, the for each loop is just a control structure that repeats a block of code for each element inside an array. So again, it's just another type of iteration loop, just like the if control structure and the while control structure. But the difference between this for loop is that it repeats the block of code for each value or element inside our array. So it executes one time through the loop for each value. So for each element or value in the array, it executes the block of code within the curly braces. So for example, how we set up the structure, we have to define an array first. So we start off with our at character, followed by the array name. I just called it names. And I'm going to assign it some value. So using our QW, operator I passed in three strings which is Victor Jadian and Davis separated by spaces and of course we use our for each control structure but the F is lowercase so after we declare our for each keyword we put a variable name so we declare another variable and inside our parentheses this is where we pass in our array with our values. So again, it's going to loop through this curly braces each time that it finds a value or element in our array. So it's going to print Victor, Jadian, and Davis, all three of them, inside our, our loop. So let me show you some examples. So again, we start by declaring our array and assigning it some values. So I'll declare my array variable. And this time I'll call it names equal, then the list of values. So I'll use my QW followed by two forward slashes, a space just for nice formatting. And I'll type Victor, I'll put Jadian and Forte. So now I want to use my for each structure. So I'll use the keyword for each. I'll, de I'll declare a variable to save our value and our elements of our array. So I'll just call it name, followed by parentheses. And the array we're going to use, of course, is called name. So I'll copy this variable and I'll paste it, paste it into our, our parentheses, open and close curly braces, and I just want to print the names inside. So how I'll do this, I'll use the name, name value. So I'll paste that in there. And let's just say I'll put it on each new line. Okay. So if we save that, what I'm telling Perl to do is for each element inside our names array, I want to print the value each time it finds an element. So again, we have one, two, and three, three elements and three values. So we're going to print each name. So if I go up to the menu run, click run script, that's exactly what we have. Victor, Jadian, and Forte. And that's pretty much in a nutshell how we use the for, for, the for each loop. It loops through an entire array for each value that it finds or each element it finds in our array. So again, let's say if you want to add more values, so I'll call it Jackson, Harris, and I'll just give it some numbers, 0, 05, and 40. So I'll save that, 
And again, we click run, run script. It prints all of our values with a new line character. So again, we use the, key, the keyword for each to begin our for each loop. We declare a variable to assign our value with or to associate our value with inside our, our elements or our elements inside of our array. And we just want to print out the values. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell for a for each loop. So if you guys have any questions, let, let me know. Feel free to ask questions. And I'll see you guys in our next lecture.